Hey, friends, we meet again. Let's do a rise and shine. Let's go down to the Tree of Life Lodge. We'll meet there, okay? Come on and go with me. We'll open the door. Put a stone up to it. Looks dark inside. You're gonna make make sure we take our time here. I just love that picture. My dad, my grandpa, and I. There's a pair of bird perchants hitched up, hauling in logs. Guess I better get to business. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's the light. What do you say? We just get the light going and. Man, I like that. There we have the Twelve Disciples with Jesus in the background. I didn't plan that with the light right in front of them. Jesus said, Ye are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father, which are in heaven. He's talking to Christians. Really, there's only two classes of people, saved and lost, Christians and non-Christians. It's not a matter of what color your skin is. The question is sin if it's been dealt with in our hearts and lives by the blood of Jesus Christ who died for it. And here I sit, and I just lit this light, and I looked through my camera to see the disciples in the background sitting with Jesus. I don't feel right with Jesus being blocked. If you'll just give me a second. There, that's better. There, that's better. In the background on the wall up there is Charlotte's school at North Star where her and Barb went to school. Kids are being towed in on a on a log by a horse and a driver who stood up on the back of it. <coughs> I guess I have to ask the question what kind of a light Am I producing and shining forth in this dark, dark world? First of all, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, and I, I want to say I know and I admit I'm not the light. I'm not the true light. Um, it's Jesus Christ. He lights up the city of God. He lights up heaven with his glory. <laughs> That just excites me that there's that much of the glory around God and Jesus that the whole city, 1,500 square miles square, is lit up because of his glory. Oh, that. So when he moves into your heart and my heart, when we get saved, we begin to grow and we acknowledge the Word of God and the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus and the armor of God and our Christian support system, the church. When we begin to grow in the Lord, if we really have had a new birth, the light will shine through us. I almost... I almost would rather say that we are the reflection of the light because Jesus is the true light 
and he lights every man that comes unto him. We reflect that light. We got to be the same as I come in here and put the fire to that lamp and the light starts. We are a reflection of the true light. What's the application of that? If you're discouraged today, he'd like to light you up. <laughs> if you're despondent today, he'd like to light up your life. You remember Debbie Boone singing that song? You light up my life. That's what Jesus wants to do for me and for you. If your life is full of darkness, I've been there. We all have. But I know when the light gets turned on, oh, what a difference. When the light gets completely turned on in our life. We sing the song, I saw the light. But the one that really counts is this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. It, it might look peculiar for you to have to pray about your business. But Rick, listen to me. Not around here. Rick in Florida, listen to me. I'm praying for your business that the light of God's power will absolutely bless it. Bless it. And cause something supernatural of God to take place so that you are absolutely shocked and astounding. Don't dare call it luck when it happens. It'll be the light of the Lord that lights up the whole world. He can give us wisdom. He can give us power. He can give us insight. What a business partner. Let Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit light up your business. You say, I'm sick. I got cancer. Well, don't let the light go out while you're waiting to move to heaven. Because I can promise you heaven's a wonderful place. And you wouldn't want to let the light go out when you're this close to home. Just keep trusting the Lord and believing the Lord and, and uh, just watch and see what God can do for you. He'll heal you. I've seen it done many times. I have people in my own family that have had genuine healings. Doctors have been involved, but God has performed a personal miracle for them. They've been healed. He can do that for you. And if he chooses not to do it here, he'll give you a brand new life where you can go where the light is never dimmed, day or night. <laughs> God never sleeps, never slumbers nor sleeps. That's what the Bible says. Sun sits beside him on the throne. <laughs> they light up the city. He causes a sunrise to come up in the morning and the moon to come up at night and the stars to light up the night. Don't you think he can light your life up? Whew. It'd be safe to say I'm lit on Jesus. Don't be discouraged. Don't be downtrodden. You say, if you knew what was going on in my relationships and my marriage is about ready to end, Friend, it may look like the end to you, but it could really be the beginning of something that God would like to do in your life. Let your light shine. Be a bright light. When you walk into the room, when you walk into the room, let it be like a breath of fresh air that's coming into the room with a smile and the joy of the Lord. Because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's letting your light shine. When the, con the conversation turns 
really greedy and greasy and <coughs> excuse me and grumpy like bad news you be the one to turn the light on when i think of the economics of um, our country and some of the things that are being said that are going to happen it causes me some great concern. I believe we're living in a generation that are going to see changes like nobody else has ever seen in the world before. They're not all going to be for the good. But I know who's got everything under control. He holds the world and he won't let go. So don't let anyone trouble your soul. God's got everything under control. Well, I guess you can tell I'm kind of in a preacher mood, so. But I know one thing. Let the light shine in you today. Then you'll be a good reflection of it. Okay? God bless you. Rise and shine. Think we better turn this light on? Hey, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to get burnt two days in a row. Now, I didn't really get burnt yesterday, but it was hot. There we go. There we go. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine Well, I'm gonna let it shine It shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine all around the town. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all over my town. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all over my town. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 See you tomorrow on Rise and Shine.